Welcome to Century Shoot, easy wave product line of trash and linen shoot systems. The Bysarter Easy Wave Electric Interlock Door Training Video provides an overview of shoot system sorter equipment and describes the Bysarter Intake Door user interface. The basic form of a chute is a cylindrical pipe installed between each floor of a high rise building with access doors on each level. Waste falls down through the chute to a collection point at the bottom. Bysorter equipment is installed under the chute outlet and above waste containers. The purpose of adding sorter equipment is to separate different types of materials from a waste stream passing through the chute. Internal to the sorter equipment, a diverter mechanism routes waste from the top inlet into two different directions. Controlling the diverter plate position separates the waste stream between the two outlets on the bottom of the chamber. On Bysorter Easy Wave Chute Systems, push button switches at the trash chute doors allow users to select the type of material before dropping waste into the chute. User input signals determine how the control system will set up the sorter equipment. The most common feature of the control system is to unlock only one door at a time. When one door is open, the other doors will be locked. However, control system operations are linked to the condition of all equipment in the chute. For example, if a trash compactor at the base of the chute is full, all intake doors will be locked out. All intake doors contain a user interface panel with push button switches to provide user input to the control system. To generate a door open request, press and release the push button switch. The control system will detect the input and respond appropriately. User feedback about the operating status of the chute is provided by the LED indicator. When the light is off, the door is locked, the chute is idle and waiting for user input. When the light is yellow, the door is locked but chute equipment setup is in progress. When the light is green, the chute is ready, the door is unlocked and may be opened. When the light is red, the chute is busy, the door is locked and user input is ignored. When the light is red and flashing, the chute system detected a fault condition associated with the open door and indicates the door must be closed. To open a door under normal conditions, wait for the indicator light to be off, press and release the push button switch associated with the specific type of waste. A green light within the switch body illuminates to indicate the selection choice. The indicator light on the user interface panel will turn yellow momentarily during shoot equipment setup. It turns green when setup is finished and the door unlocks. A mechanical sound will also be generated by activation of the interlock mechanism. Turn the latch handle and pull the door open. Insert waste completely into the chute and allow it to drop. Release the door and allow it to close automatically. Do not push the door. After the door closes, the indicator turns red while the system waits for materials to fall out of the chute. The indicator turns off when the cycle is complete and now the system is idle and waiting for the next access request. Before selecting a different type of waste, the door must be closed. Sorter equipment can only be set up when the door is closed 
to prevent waste falling through the chamber. At the same time, the diverter mechanism is moving into a new position. At any time while attempting to open a door, if the indicator is red or turns red, the door will remain locked. Do not pull on the door or force it open in any manner. If a door is open on one level, the indicators will be read on all doors at the other levels. After the open door is closed, all indicators will change to off. If the indicator remains red for longer than the normal open and close time frame, maintenance personnel may have locked out the intake doors. When service operations are complete, the chute intake doors will be re-enabled. Doors are equipped with a tamper protection system to lock out a door receiving too many instructions. If a push button switch is operated over four times within a 90 second period, tamper lockout is activated. The interface panel will not respond to any input and the chute door will remain locked. In this mode, the indicator light flashes red one time with each user input attempt. The door will not return to normal operation until it has been left inactive for 90 seconds. Lockout only affects the door being tampered with. All other doors on the chute will function normally. This concludes our training video and thank you for choosing Century Chute Easy Wave product line of trash and linen chute systems. Please refer to the Easy Wave Chute System Operating Instructions and the Easy Wave Chute System Installation Manual for additional information.